Hello and welcome to the next episode of my drawing series on Super Easy Crafts. Today we'll be drawing a hamster, a cartoon hamster like this one. So let's begin. We're going to start by drawing a circle. So I'm not that very good at drawing circles, so I'm going to try and find something to draw a circle around. Like let's pop pens. So just draw a nice light circle on your paper. Circle, so get my rubber and rub out bits like this. So we've got a rough circular shape. It's not very circular, but now we're going to round off the top, make it like it just to add a little extra bit at the top. This is to be the top of the hamster's head, like an egg almost. And then we're going to rub out that line here. You can always start by drawing it, I suppose, but I always find it easier to start by drawing a circle. To change the size of your hamster, you can always just change the size of the circle and the egg on top, eggshell on top. Now, we're going to rub out the bottom here. Not just the bottom, just a tiny bit of the bottom here. And draw it back in, but flat. There we go. So this will be our base for the hamster. A bit like my first episode, we're now going to draw the guidelines to help us. So it depends on where the hamster's facing, like on the other episode. So I want them facing directly in the middle this time. So I'm just going to draw a line right down. And wind one line up the top here, because that's where the face is going to be, right across. So I'll plot on the fe features. So now we're just going to draw a circle, one by here, one by here. This will be the eyes of the ha for the hamster. To make the hamster look even cuter, you can expand the size of the circle, making him have biz bigger eyes. Okay, we're just going to choose how we're going to draw the inside of the eyes and which direction you want him to be looking at. So I, in this picture here, he's looking up to this corner here because his pupils there are facing that way. But in this one here, I want to make him drawing directly at you, looking directly at you. So we're just going to draw two circles, right smack bang in the middle here, and then gently shade all around them with our pencil. Like that. And here he's looking directly at you. Now we're going to draw his ears, I think. Yeah. So just two semicircles on the side of his head there and there. To make him look cuter, you can always make the ears look bigger or smaller. There we go. I'm just going to lightly shade the inside of his ears in. Just very lightly. Just to make it. Okay, now it looks like an egg with the ears rather than eyes. So now we're just going to draw a flat squashed circle for the nose, like that. And we're going to shade that in, except for a tiny bit, which can give it a bit of a shine. I like to do that. It's about that. Now we're going to draw like a squished W. So the height, the mo height, so two U's connecting on that line like that. And it helps plot it on directly in the middle. And then just for the chin, a tiny line underneath. There we go. So now we're going to add in the hands. Not hands, what are hands? What are they? Paws, paws. We're going to draw in the paws and legs. Paws, really. So, first one by there, and one little one by there. There we go, and then I like to draw his paws like that, so just gentle V's you can copy there. Just like flatten the V's. There we go, just go over that a bit. Now we're going to gently rub out the guidelines, 
I no longer need them. This ruins your picture a bit, just draw the lines back in. There we go, Oops, very top there. This isn't the best rubber ever, next time I'll get a better rubber. Okay, now we're going to add on the fur. So just at the top here, I like to do a little tuft of fur. It's just like that. And then down the sides, bits of fur there. There, there. And then just random bits of fur in here. I might change his eyes actually. A bit freaky. Yeah, you can always rub out bits you don't like and draw them back. I have it looking into this corner. There we go, that looks a bit better now. Yeah. And there you have it. You have your hamster, or gerbil, or whatever you're going to call them. Now, the very finishing touch I like to add is just a tiny bit of shading, very lightly, underneath, to give him a 3D look. Like there's a light behind him, not this shadow. And there you have it. You have your first cartoon hamster. Thanks for viewing this video. Subscribe for more good videos like this on how to draw. How to draw, really. See you in the next episode. Bye!